Yeah. What's up, guys? We got the crew out today. Minus Chepa. I'm, e <laughs> I'm even surprised they let this one out the leash. Yeah. So we're on our way to uh, Connecticut. No, oh. Massachusetts. It's Connecticut. Yeah. Nah, right now we're in Connecticut. No, we're headed to Connecticut. Yeah. What are we, Massachusetts? <laughs> yeah, whatever. We're gonna go pick up some carbon fiber parts for my brother's EK. Poop. Uh, we left the house at five in the morning. Right now we're in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Have a little bit more to, more to go, so we'll keep you guys updated. It's, uh, it's a nice little collection he's picking up. All carbon fiber parts. Yeah, I got a crazy deal. No, that's this is what you call it, is a carbon fiber haul. This shit ain't no little thing. It's a haul. Yeah, it's a big, uh, big, big come up. So we had to make the trip three hours. So we'll catch up when we get there. And we have Johnny over here. He's driving. It's about three hours. We got Jose. Munching on some uh, morning donut? morning breakfast. All we're missing is Chepa. But look at guys, a, a lot of you guys don't do this no more. You know, we, we've been doing this since what we were 16, going like this is a six hour round trip. If you want the deals, you want the good parts for cheap, you gotta make the trips. They not coming to you. It only takes gas tolls and time. <laughs> Don't mind Coco, he's eating his uh, his bagel with butter, extra butter. No, it's a cream cheese bagel. Remember, American runs on Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> Right, guys the deal was done you know you usually don't want to like say nothing before you know the deal is done because then it's not how you pictured it or anything but I mean I think each one of us made out crazy because I, it was only for me but it turned out everybody made it off so let's let's show you the haul all right so the story behind the haul is the guy wanted a thousand bucks for just the small lot that we got over here but then you know he wanted uh i guess he needed some money or you know how things go and he he threw me an offer that i couldn't resist that's why i took the three hour trip down here but then he took us to his storage where he had more stuff and that's where my brother pretty much destroyed it so let's see let's let's go by first what my brother got you know, we was talking and stuff, and I told him that I go, I'm go, i going K-Series, and he told me, oh, I got all these K-Series parts for you. I'm like, all right. It's a K-Tune uh, post-mount bracket. Brian, you know, as you guys can see with the hardware and everything in the box. K-Tune throttle cable. K-Tune oil, cool, uh, oil cooler fittings. K-Tune K-Cylinder. It's my second one now. K-Tune uh, black off plate for the, I think it's the IAC or something like that. K-Tune RSX fan switch. K-Tune coolant temperature sensor for the drag, uh, for the dash gauge. K-Tune clutch, uh, clutch line. K-Tune radiator hose, the one under the manifold, brand new. These are brand new too, as you can see, for the heater core, for the heater core, uh, heater core. Uh, K2 temperature sensor adap adapter, K2 shifted box bushings. All this brand new. He also included these, uh, I guess, B series ARP uh, flywheel bolts and uh, clutch um, pressure plate bolts. And uh, I also bought this competition stage four six plug, uh, six plug sprung clutch. He included the hardware. 
the flywheel bolts and clutch bolts. Brand new flywheel, 10 pounds, competition. In the box, unopened. It's a stage four, six plug. A EG cargo cover. The one I have in my hatch currently is broken. See it and it works perfectly fine. It's just a little broken right here. You got in the all corner. The and and a little bit in this corner. But I'm gonna try to see what I could do to try to maintain it from uh furthering crack. It has all the brackets and um uh, carbon fiber passenger side airbag delete. So I paid four hundred dollars for everything. Which is to me a deal because around my way, people be wanting 150 to 200 for this alone. The clutch he showed me, he paid $600 for. Plus the additional K2 stuff. I think I made it, I got a good deal on it. You think? I mean, you, you pretty much raped the guy. <laughs> hey, he was throwing numbers and things, and I liked the price and I got it. I'm gonna get a, a little yelling when about, hey, part of the hobby, right guys? Married people know my struggle. And for us, pretty much, I picked up the, um, the this is hydro dip, this is hydro dip, carbon fiber. This is a uh, carbon fiber, hydro dip, carbon fiber. And my cousin Tony um, got the wiper cow carbon fiber. Um, we got the subframe, the tie bar, tow hooks, and I think that's pretty much it. And for our stuff, it was uh, 500 bucks for the whole lot. So. Oh, he, free, uh, he also looked out, he gave us the fender lining for the car because I don't have none at the moment. So we're going to put those in. He didn't charge us anything, but you know. Uh, but definitely, definitely made out, for sure. Uh, this is going to look really good in Megan. She's really light. She's brand new from packaging. So, I mean, you know, we pretty much all came off with an amazing deal. A little close up on the, on the parts. So yeah, now we got a three hour ride back home, but everybody's happy. We're gonna get some breakfast and uh, we left so early that we're gonna get back at a reasonable time that some of these parts are gonna go on the car today. So we'll see you then. back I'm not gonna say it was an easy trip I drove going and coming back so uh, but I gotta see how these parts look so this is uh I got an upgraded NRG quick release so I'm gonna put this on and then let's see um how some of the parts look part in the appearance because I'm in the middle of taking out my headliner so it might look a little messy but still we got to see how they look I hope the light's coming in good. As you can see, this is a cluster bezel surround, if you will. This is the climate control. Looks amazing. This is the shift to console. Looks great. This is the glove box. And just to be transparent, this is hydro, this is real, that's real, hydro, hydro. So we just installed the windshield wiper claw. It looks really good. Uh, definitely had to take the hood out and we, so as to fit it without actually breaking it and it actually came out pretty well. Let me get you some close looks. It shines right up.
So we just currently discovered that the car has a rear wheel bearing that's not it's faulty, so we gotta order it. So yeah, guys, uh, as my cousin said, we installed his uh, <clears throat> windshield wiper crawl. As you can see, his nice. Um, my brother installed all his carbon fiber stuff that we bought. As you guys can see, we traveled three hours going, three hours coming back. I got EG guys, EG hatch guys know to struggle on this. And all the all the casery part. Sometimes it's worth traveling. Sometimes local is not always the best. And around here, the local guys want 200 just for the cargo cover alone. So I made off. Soon, still uh, debating on to uh, rattle can it, get the paint and made in um, spray can or spray with a spray with a paint gun. You know, and as you can see, my cousin already said it. He got a wheel bearing bat in the back, so that's something we're gonna work on. He also has to change his climate control because right here it's broken. Right here, see how it's broken. So I had a spare one from when my brother junked his coupe a few years back. Saved it. Just needs a little cleaning. It's been sitting for like three years, four years maybe. We have to put the seatbelts on this. Well, we put that one on already, but we realized it didn't have the seatbelt clip. So you gotta get that. Uh, soon we're gonna wire up his his mirrors. As you can see, he got a spoon a spoon uh, glass on his mirrors. These are power folding mirrors. They work. We checked them out already. So we just have to run the wires to make it fold and through the dash and everything like I did mine, my EG. And uh, hopefully we make the power folding uh, work. So yeah guys, so like I said, don't be scared to travel. I was I was one of those that be like, oh, I don't want to travel more than an hour. But finding all these deals far, and then my brother always telling me, stop being a little a little girl. Don't, don't, don't be the only wanting to travel an hour. Oh, well, I'll take the ride with you or whatever. And then my cousin's always down for the ride. So we went. Well, my brother's always the one finding the deals. So, you know, hopefully soon in the next video, you have my friend Chep out in here with his GSR, but he's always too busy for us. So these guys are putting the, the hood back on. So yeah, guys, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. I'll see ya. Husky. See you guys like and subscribe. Comment. Till next.